Peter Sullivan, I'm the founder of Clearlight Ventures. I was a software designer in Silicon Valley and my family and I ended up having some environmental health issues from toxins and it turned out one of the big ones was uh, the health effects of wireless and electromagnetic fields. So elect wireless and electrical exposures which kind of shocked me because I loved all the gadgets and I loved all the toys and I assumed that they had been you know, safety tested and that anybody who questioned that was just you know, not scientific uh, until my body started telling me something quite different. So at these conferences, we want to give people that same experience. We want to give people a felt experience of what it feels like to have no electrical exposure because right now, we are like a fish in water in these fields and some of them, like magnetic fields, go right through our body. So this is a meter that measures wireless radiation. And you can see in this environment in a conference, in a conference hotel, we're starting to get some pretty high readings. Now the FCC level is way, way, way up here, but it's not based on any real safety numbers. So these are based on actual safety numbers of biological pulses, and we're up in the red zone here. So what we've done is we've created a shielded tent to give people like a, a back to nature paleo experience to go back and feel what, it like, feel what it's like to have much lower exposures. And so what frequently happens when they come in and they, they haven't, no one's had this experience before I'm going from really high levels to almost zero in a second or two, and you, you, your body senses that, then they start asking, okay, well, now what can I do in my own environment? And we usually say to start with your sleep environment, start creating space around your body, so distance the exposures drop off pretty rapidly with distance. So the things that are closest to you uh, at night, especially if you're wearing like a fitness tracker or something that has a, like a, uh, an Apple Watch or a fitness tracker that has constant wireless exposure, um, I, the ones that go in your earbuds, any wearables that are right next to your body, that's kind of the first line of defense to really start moving those away from the body, minimizing your exposure, putting things into airplane mode and then just kind of clearing out the bedroom environment. Make sure your, your cell phone isn't right next to you, which, you know, which can upset your sleep. The most common symptoms of exposure, people will say, well, I feel calmer now, but you know, what are the most common symptoms? And the most common symptoms that are reported are on our little wireless safety card, and it's mostly sleep disruption, uh, ear ringing, people will get headaches, uh, some people will get anxiety, especially in their stomach, and there can be other, actually, very serious issues like sperm damage, actually, from carrying a cell phone in the pocket. We have a film that helps people introduce people to topics it's called Generation Zapped. And we recommend just starting to turn things off in your bedroom environment, even just at night. So you don't have to pay any money. So just your, get rid of the wearables and the cell phones, give them some space or outside the bedroom. And um, turn off, if you have a baby monitor, turn that off. A cordless phone base station, the one that has the answering machine, turn that off. And Wi-Fi, turn those three off at night. You can even turn off the circuit breaker on the bedroom, so you can get high frequency noise exposure on your wiring, and that can give you a little space. So that's a free protocol. You can try it for a couple days or a couple weeks and see how your body feels. And if that works well for you and you're sleeping better and feeling better, less inflammation, whatever, uh, then you can start taking steps to learn more about the protocol, maybe spending a little bit of money to do some, some things to reduce exposure. A lot of people have been asking about 5G as it's starting to roll out. 5G is the fifth generation of cell phone technology on your cell phones and in the different towers. So the towers are going to be higher power now and they're very fast, but they're also going to be almost 200 yards apart, very close to each other, and uh, higher frequency noise and frequencies that haven't been used or tested before. So this is being rolled out without any human testing, so people are quite concerned about it for a good reason. And in some of these areas, Sacramento and, and uh, Chicago here, we're starting to get some reports of pretty immediate symptoms. So uh, headaches, some bleeding noses even, um, some sunburn-like symptoms inside and just pain in different parts of the body. So, I'm, um, so it's not a great situation. The, theoretically, the 5G frequencies can't go as deep into your body. But you know, that can still impact your eyes and your skin, the mast cells on your skin. So we really knew, need to safety test these things. About 200 and so scientists have put an appeal to the EU for a moratorium on 5G until it's tested. There have been some cities that have banned 5G already. So a lot of concern about it. Um, and it's a good time to give feedback to your local political officials and share this information with your friends and make sure that we have safe technology and move forward towards that.